Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to make a video today going over some of my favorite tips when it comes to elevating your bedroom space. You do not have to have a lot of money. You guys know if you've been here for a while, I like to do things on a really tiny budget. So really just transforming your space, specifically your bedroom space, and just elevate it, make it look a little bit nicer. So my very first tip is if you have a TV in your room, which I think a lot of us do, is to turn it into a framed TV. So if you guys are familiar with the Samsung frame TVs. They look like art on your wall, but they can be up to thousands of dollars. I think I've seen them as much as three or four thousand dollars. And I'm going to show you guys right here how I made mine for just 38 bucks. So all you have to do is find some molding that you like. You can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and it's just frame molding. So depending on the size of your TV, you will need either two or three of these moldings. I only needed two because I have a 43 inch TV. So I came home with that and then we measured the TV, cut it to size, and then I used this antique gold rub and buff, and I just painted this on to the frame. So once this was done, you can attach this any way you want. I wanted this to not be like a permanent thing, so I got Velcro command strips, and I stuck them on all the sides of the frame, and then secured this to my TV. Now to get the final look, you can actually just go to YouTube, and in the search bar, you're going to type in framed art TV, and there are so many different pictures that will pop up. They usually play for a few hours so I will have this set obviously when I'm either taking pictures in my room when I have guests over I want to definitely do this in my living room as well having art here instead really elevated the space it makes it look like I have just a big large beautiful painting so that is my very first tip when it comes to elevating your bedroom space my second tip is bedding. You want to make your bedding look really cozy and you can do this very affordably. To start, I would say you want to have some kind of down comforter. You can find these on Amazon between 60 and $100, but having a down comforter on your bed, I feel like is the first step to making your bed look like a designer styled bed. So once you have your down comforter, then you want to get a duvet. I will have mine linked. I'm always getting questions on my duvet and it also came with two pillow shams. So I'll have that linked once you have your down comforter and your duvet. I will have a cheat sheet right here as far as how you style pillows, the dimensions that you want to have along your backboard and then your shams and then any decorative pillows that you want to have in the front. The dimensions of the pillows will kind of determine the size of your bed. So if you have a king bed, a queen bed or a full right here, we'll show you exactly what sizes you want to be looking for when it comes to your decorative throw pillows. Then as far as where to shop for those, I find really beautiful ones that are pretty affordable at Target. I would also say at home. Theirs are usually the most affordable. If you have an at home store locally, they do also sell them online, but sometimes you want to go in the store and look. They just have a huge variety, several aisles of throw pillows of every color you can imagine. The three pillows I have along the back of my bed, I got those from at home and I actually leave them all the time. So when we go to bed at night, those three pillows stay. We use our two shams. The only pillows I'm removing are the little decorative pillows I have on the front. So it might look like I have a ton of throw pillows, but I'm only removing the three that I have in the front. Another tip with throw pillows is to search Amazon for just throw pillow covers. Those are so affordable. That's usually where I get all of my throw pillows throughout the rest of my house. They're usually around $18 and you're getting two of them and then you just need some inserts. So a tip with inserts is always go bigger than the pillow case. So if you're getting a 20 inch pillow, you're going to want an 18 inch pillow case. So that's just an extra tip if you're wanting your pillows to look a little bit nicer. And of course, if you want your pillows to chop really well, if you like that look, you're going to want to have feather pillow inserts. My next tip would be to add a rug under your bed. If you have carpet, I would still suggest this because it really still ties the room together. Whether you have carpet or wood flooring, there's something about a rug that really just helps cozy up a space. And there are so many affordable rugs out there. My favorite place to get them again is from at home. Our at home store has so many and I can always find them under a hundred dollars and that's even for the size of an eight by 10. So you do not need to be getting crazy expensive rugs because I know rugs can get really, really pricey. But another tip I have, if you're going for more of a soft feel on your rug, those can tend to be more expensive. I would still go the route of getting 
getting an affordable rug, something between 60 and $100, and then spending your money on a really nice pad. In our family room, I just recently bought an eight by 10 rug. I spent $100 on it from at home, but I invested 60 more dollars and I got a really thick pad to go beneath it and my kids will sleep on this rug. They think it's so comfortable and this is with hardwood floor beneath it. So again, if you're trying to go for more of soft and comfort, go with a really thick pad and then stick to a more affordable rug. Tip number four would be to add additional seating in your room. And this can be a chair next to your window. This could be a little bench in front of your bed. I have had my eye on a vintage skinny bench for so many months now, but when you're looking at these prices, they are a little bit ridiculous. I saw some for $800, some for $400. So what we did is we went to Home Depot. We bought a two by eight by 10 board and it was $13. And we just built the entire bench out of this one piece of wood. I will have the plans for this bench linked below if you're interested in building your own. It was really simple, it takes very minimal tools, but I feel like this little bench really helped elevate the space in my room. I feel like this also serves multiple purposes. It, not only is it a beautiful decorative piece, but you can also use it to maybe sit and put your shoes on in the morning. But again, you can style this anyway. And anytime you add elegant pieces in your room, it always helps to elevate your space. Tip number five would be to add curtains in your room. I feel like this is the fastest way and the most affordable way to really change the look of your room. So when it comes to installing curtains, there are a few do's and don'ts. You don't want to fit your curtain exactly to the space of your window. You're going to wanna run it up as high as you can to the ceiling. Our bedroom is a little bit different because we do have beams and so I wasn't able to run them all the way up to the ceiling, but I will show you some examples of how much better it looks when you run your curtain rod all the way up to the ceiling. The next thing you wanna do is get curtain rods that will extend far past what you need them to so that when you do hang your curtains they're hanging on either side of the window rather than having to be in front of the window if that makes sense so those are a few do's and don'ts you also want to make sure your curtain goes all the way again to the ground so just be sure when it comes to measuring for your curtains that you are getting curtains that span the length of your ceiling down to your floor and not just the space of your window Tip number six is to add faux or real plants in your room. If you're looking at trees, they can be upwards of one to two to $300. And this is even for faux trees in your room. So I do have a video I can link below of me making this tree behind me. This is something I picked up at our thrift store. I think it was like $15. I plucked off all of the old greens and then I found some stems that I liked at Hobby Lobby. I got them when they were 50% off. So I paid, I believe around $40 for this tree. Again, I will have that linked below if you want a full tutorial on that but there are definitely more affordable ways to get large statement pieces in your room such as this big tree that we have in the back corner for a very affordable price again under $50 but it really is like the statement piece in our bedroom my next tip is lighting and this can be anywhere from switching out your light fixtures to just switching out your light bulbs I always recommend using soft white lighting in your bedroom it really helps cozy up the space rather than having that harsh white daylight soft lighting is definitely the way to go when it comes to bedrooms and then for light fixtures i always order mine on amazon they are so affordable you guys can find the most beautiful light fixtures on amazon we're working on our basement bathroom right now and i found some sconces that were 30 dollars for a pack of two and they are i believe 20 inches long i'm talking two sconces 20 inches long 30 bucks total. So you do not need to spend an arm and a leg on getting lights. Once I found light fixtures on Amazon, I don't think I will ever get them anywhere else. My eighth tip would be to add a fireplace to your bedroom and you do not need to be a crazy DIYer to be able to do this. There are so many ways to add a really beautiful fireplace with no skill and a really tiny budget. I will show you guys the fireplace that we put in our bedroom. Um, there was no fireplace here to begin with. Last year in January, we renovated this space. My husband spent 200 and I think it was $280 total on this fireplace and it looks like we spent thousands. Obviously this takes more of a skilled DIYer to be able to build it out in this shape. As far as the stone goes, this was something that I was able to help with. So this is just faux stone. I got the paneling on Amazon and we just kind of pieced it together and then used grout over the top to make it look like it was real. Anyone that's come in my bedroom 
thinks this is real stone and it's a real fireplace. We got the insert at Walmart and I think it was 60 or $70. So again, very affordable. So what I would recommend if you want to do this on a very tiny budget, you could just pick up one of these fireplaces again for around $60, find a spot for it in your room. And then you could just build some kind of mantle around it. You can even buy ones that are pre-made and then just kind of stand it on top of it. But if you just went to Lowe's or Home Depot and found some crown molding, you could build some kind of feature around that and just pinnail it to the wall. So I would say this could be one of the quickest, easiest, and most affordable ways you could really change the look of your room, make it feel super cozy, make it look elegant and expensive. But again, you could do this on a tiny, tiny budget. The ninth tip would be to add art to your walls. And for me, the cheapest way for you to do this is to go to your thrift stores, find some old frames. Maybe you could even paint the frames, but just find some large frames that you could work with. And then my favorite tip is to go maybe to Etsy, find some beautiful art that you could print off. And if you're doing large art where your printer wouldn't be able to print it off, you could just call your local print store and have them print the art for you. You can get beautiful art for around $20 doing it this way. So getting the frames at a thrift store, you could maybe paint them if you need to. Most of the time I don't have to do that. When I find frames at our thrift store, I just leave the frames as they are. And you can find the art for free on Google or maybe buy something on Etsy and print it off for just a few dollars at your print store. And then my 10th tip would be to add some kind of accent wall. And you can do this so affordably with molding or doing some kind of board and batten wall. So depending on the size of your space or the wall that you are doing, you would just need a few pieces of this kind of trim to really transform your space. And then obviously some paint. And when it comes to paint, I have found if you go to Lowe's and you ask for the least expensive paint, they have paint that's actually $16. So the ones that they're always showing you are between 35, 40, even up to $100 for one gallon, but they do have a paint that they don't ever show that's only $16 and it has great coverage. We actually just did a game room in the basement for our kids and we use that kind of paint. So I can tell you, it does have great coverage for how inexpensive the paint was. So that's everything for this video. I hope that you guys got some ideas of ways that you can elevate your bedroom space while still sticking to a really tiny budget. Thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.